فريداً كن فريداً عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى Not long ago, I came across an article. It was a speech delivered by a Ms. Carlton Fiorina, Chief Executive Officer of the Hewlett Packard Corporation, delivered a few weeks after the 9-11 attacks. In this speech, she was talking about the once upon a time followers of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I'm going to read part of this speech to you. This is what she had to say. She said, there was once a civilization that was the greatest in the world. It was able to create a continental super state that stretched from ocean to ocean and from northern climes to tropics and deserts. Within its dominion lived hundreds of millions of people of different creeds and ethnic origins. One of its languages became the universal language of much of the world, the bridge between the peoples of a hundred lands. Its armies were made up of people of many nationalities, and its military protection allowed a degree of peace and prosperity that had never been known. The reach of this civilization's commerce extended from Latin America to China and everywhere in between. And this civilization was driven more than anything by invention. Its architects designed buildings that defied gravity. Its mathematicians created the algebra and algorithms that would enable the building of computers and the creation of encryption. Its doctors examined the human body and found new cures for disease. Its astronomers looked into the heavens, named the stars, and paved the way for space travel and exploration. Its writers created thousands of stories. When other nations were afraid of ideas, this civilization thrived on them and kept them alive. When censors threatened to wipe out, wipe out knowledge from past civilizations, this civilization kept the knowledge alive and passed it on to others. While modern Western civilization shares many of these traits, the civilization I'm talking about was the Islamic world from the year 800 to 1600, which included the Ottoman Empire and the courts of Baghdad, Damascus and Cairo, and enlightened rulers like Suleiman the Magnificent. Although we are often unaware of our indebtedness to this other civilization, its gifts are very much a part of our heritage. The technology industry would not exist without the contributions of the Arab mathematicians. My friends, may Allah give her hidayat for I'm sure you will agree. In this day and age, she is very rare. She is from amongst the few that speaks the haq, that speaks the truth. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى